seen me in my other videos, but today I'm not going to sing. Yeah, if you haven't seen those videos, you better check those out. And so today I'm going to be discussing, and my topic is weird Filipino ways. So first of, you may be asking, where did we came from, I mean, us Filipinos, because obviously I'm a Filipino. Um, we are of Malayan descent, and if my memory serves me correctly, and if I was listening in my history class, um, we're from the people which came from Indonesia, Malaysia, and those kind of sorts. And uh, then came the conquerors. Our, we had three conquerors in our country. So the first were the Spaniards. Yes, the Spaniards. And the second were the Americans. Yes, you Americans. And the third ones were the Japanese, at last an Asian country, a fellow Asian. And so from then on, I think Philippines has become a melting pot for all these cultures. I mean, it's really hard to adapt uh, suddenly to these three different cultures. And so that mainly uh, explains why we have a very... Uh, uh, what do you call that? Non-stereotypical look. I mean, when someone when somebody says Asian, the first picture that comes into your mind are the slanty-eyed, fair-skinned people, black-haired. That's just very racist. Yeah, you're racist. And so I think that's very stereotypical, and I think that's not our cup of tea because we are a uh, more of a Mexican type, and I think that's very. Uh, alienating because most of the, our Asian uh, neighbors are slanty eyed, yes, especially China. There are many people in China, that's why we're outnumbered. And so, anyway, before I get too racist, uh, let's move on to our original uh, points, which are the weird Filipino ways. So, yes, I have a list because I can't, uh, I just can't memorize these. these Things, so you gotta write them down. So the first one is us Filipinos can understand each other by one word sentences. For example, when somebody pinches you, it's 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 kind of like you're going to respond, why? Why did you do that? I mean like that. But here in the Philippines, when you respond, bakit mo ginawa yon? It's like that's the translation of why did you do that. It's like gonna be it's gonna be like awkward because. Uh, as I use informal, uh, formal speaking, so we kind of like respond just why or about it like that. So the next one is uh, we are comfortable using our hands when eating, but not always using our hands. I mean, there are uh, very hand-picked meals that can be used or can be eaten with our hands. Uh, like fried fish and so on and so forth, but when we get to those soupy stuff, we use our cubiertos, these, the spoon, spoon, and the fork. So as you can see, we don't have knife in our uh, daily uh, cubiertos every day because we don't have use for knife. Because most of the cutting is made by the spoon, and most of the picking is used. Is uh, is uh is used. We use fork. Ah, oh, I didn't make any sense, did I? And so anyway, I can't even imagine having to eat sinigang, which is one of our delicacies, which is a soupy uh soupy dish. Eating that with a knife. And how do you eat that with a knife? I can only imagine eating that with this spoon. Yes, a spoon. So you scrap the liquid and the floating rice and the meat and the vegetables and so on and so forth. And so, but we also use knife in formal dinner setting. I mean, like that, but not every day. And another thing is that Filipinos can never. Uh, it's like it's not never, but it's a meal is not complete without rice. Yes, that is our staple of food in our everyday living. We can't uh, we we can't say that a meal is completed without any rice, um, morning, noon, and at night. So many of you can say that uh, you can stand a year without eating rice. I mean, you can eat bread, pasta, and so on and so forth. But that's not the case here in the Philippines. I mean, Rhonda's.
state of hunger, how can you even eat pasta at dinner time or eat sandwiches? I mean, that's just waste of uh, money. I mean, I can't imagine having to uh, go on uh, for the whole year just eating bread. Let's find this healthy. Yeah, and healthy. Because of rice, yes, because of rice, because bread cannot give what rice uh, gives us, those nutrients. And so, before I get to nutritionist here, let's move on to the next. Uh, uh, we point our palms to where we are going. So, for example, we are passing by a group of people, rather a big crowd, we use, we like, like this, and then we point that to the to the to the uh, direction where we're going. It's like to clear out the people out front. It's like to poke their butts so that they will move like that. And so the next one is we make manupo to, uh, to our elders. I think that is a sign of I, I don't I just I don't just think I know that is a a sign of respect for our elders. I mean for us. I don't really know the direct translation of that to English. It's like manupo. They always say bless, but I can't seem to find the right word. It's just you you take the elder's hand and then you kind of push it to your forehead, and then you say manupo, and that's it. And then the elder may say kawakanados or God bless you. It's like that. I don't quite, I can't quite pinpoint where that tradition uh, kind of started. So I think from the word itself, mano, mano po, I think that came from the Chinese. Yes, you Chinese. And so anyway, I think that is the end of my rant like discussion. So um, I think I'm going to end this here. So please don't forget to comment. Please comment on my speaking skills, although I may seem. Uh, very, uh, uh, what do you call this? I, I can't enunciate words properly, and I'm not a fluent speaker of English, but please, 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 I do need those comments, especially from fluent English speakers, so that I may know how to improve my speaking skills. And please rate, please, 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 please rate five stars, although I'm not very funny as those who come up with rants are very funny and very entertaining. You might have been bored by this rant, but please rate five stars. And if you please, if extra uh, click on your mouse to subscribe, please. Thank you.